well this is the 234 update so five minutes late uh just give me a second here i'm putting on the air conditioning so because it's uh, it, it, i need air conditioning up at the front here um because the phone's going to overheat because the sun's just beating down right on it so if i have the the defroster on with the air conditioning it'll keep it going so anyways um i was going to go underneath uh uh, Collingwood and everything but it's not showing any traffic or any slowdowns it's earlier in the day like uh, there's no there, like it's not traffic hour in Collingwood so we'll be well through there and we'll even be through Owen Sound before their traffic hour so uh, I'm just gonna stay on this and it's a little more scenic so when we're when, when we're running along the, the on the highway along uh, underneath on Georgian Bay I'll put I'll put the video on and then you guys can see uh, from the, uh, you know, from at least from the phone here as best I can. So, um, but yeah, we're make, we're really making good time. I didn't bother to gas up yet. Because um, it says I'm going to get right to Sable Beach with 25 kilometers left over. So it went from $1.51 to all of a sudden $1.61. So I'm curious. To see what it's going to be i know i'm making a mistake because in Savo beach it's gonna be like a dollar 80 or something really stupid eh? so anyway say to me but uh if i see something convenient oh it sounds probably going to be because i i'm sure i know there's the way we're i mean the, the way i'm going in now is the regular way i know and i know for sure there's some gas bars that are on the right side and they'll have room for me and the boat to go through <laughs> So you can see up to the long distance. We're like, I guess we're in the valley between all those hills and wherever. But anyway, um, we're on the Highway 26, which takes us the rest of the way to Sable Beach now. So um, I could have dipped down and then come up to Port Elgin, but I didn't really want to do that because it's not. I, I mean, I don't. I, I haven't been that way before. But it's more scenic the way we're going, and I just looked at the time. And I'm going, oh, this is, this, is, yeah, fuck it. We'll just go through Collingwood and all that. Don't matter. I see some thunder boomers off in the distance. That would probably be right over top of the campground. I haven't checked the weather for there. I think I'm going to have a check once I stop filming with you guys there. I don't need the uh, the GPS for the moment. So, um, I'm gonna check the weather because it was supposed to be no like clear, no rain at the campground today according to the weather report, but it may have changed. So, these might be just isolated thunder boomers. It doesn't really feel that humid. It is up to 22 Celsius now, so humidity must be going up. It's definitely when I open the window, it's definitely a lot warmer now than it was an hour ago. So, anyway, we'll see. I just would really hate to have to set up in a rainstorm. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, I guess that'll be that for, for the moment. God, I, I wish I could film separately because there's these wide open fields like the ones you see in the States here, eh? And I mean, it's... So this is the kind of farms that my distant, distant cousins that settled here, <laughs> that stayed here from the original settlers. These big farms is what they have. I didn't even know about these cousins until I've talked about it before, like in the last four or five years. So anyway, what are you gonna do? Okay, well I'm gonna let you go, put my map back on the rest of it. See you later. Bye.